Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia Newsline and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Friday the 29th of December. India asks Pakistan to hand over 2611 terror attack mastermind Hafiz Saeed. ECB accepts Pakistan's ex-PM Nawaz Sharif's nomination for February poll. And probe against Pakistan police for harassing Afghans during repatriation. And now for all the details. New Delhi on Thursday said it has asked Pakistan to extradite 2611 Mumbai attack mastermind Hafiz Saeed to India. Answering a query over media reports on Saeed's extradition, India's Foreign Ministry spokesperson said New Delhi has sent a formal request along with supporting evidence to Islamabad to face trial in India. He added New Delhi has continuously flagged about his activities in the numerous cases he is wanted by India to Pakistan. As you are aware, the person in question is wanted in numerous uh, cases in India. He is also a UN proscribed terrorist. In this regard, we have conveyed a request along with relevant supporting documents to the government of India to extradite him, the uh, government of Pakistan to extradite him to India to face trial in a particular case. I think that is what you were referring to. So yes, uh, we, have, uh, we have of course been flagging the issue of activities uh, that he's been wanted for. In this a United Nations proscribed terrorist, Hafiz Saeed, is the leader of terror outfit lashkar e -Taiba and one of India's most wanted fugitive. In 2019, Saeed was detained by Pakistani authorities against the charges of terror financing. However, his current whereabouts remain unknown. Speaking highly on the bilateral ties, India's Foreign Minister S. Jay Shankar said the relationship between Moscow and New Delhi is much deeper than just diplomacy or economics. During his five-day visit to Russia, Jay Shankar said, both the countries always try to find new linkages and common points. He said that in the ever-changing world at present, India and Russia are constantly trying to refresh each other's understanding with efforts from both sides consistently focused to deepen the same. India has not yet condemned the Russian invasion of Ukraine but has maintained that the crisis must be resolved through diplomacy and dialogue. India's import of Russian crude oil has gone up significantly despite increasing disquiet over it in many Western countries. Moving on, the Election Commission of Pakistan on Thursday accepted former Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif's nomination for the 2024 elections weeks after a court overturned two graft convictions. According to media reports, Sharif's nomination for Mansehra's NA15 constituency were reportedly approved by the returning officer despite objections by PTI leader Azam Swati. Notably, Sharif still needs a removal of a live ban on holding any public office to qualify to stand, which has raised suspicion over the acceptance of his nomination. The hearing on the ban is likely to be held in January, which will decide the fate of his bid for premiership for the fourth time after the February 8 election. Meanwhile, residents in Pakistan's Karachi city are upset over gas load shedding, which is forcing them to buy expensive food from outside. This has become an annual phenomenon during winters, but authorities are least bothered. A report. The gas crisis has intensified across Pakistan's financial capital, Karachi, with residents complaining that load shedding and low pressure of gas has affected their day-to-day -day routine. While the domestic consumers are relying on expensive food from local eateries, hotel owners complain they are also facing issues due to the gas shortage. The high inflation has already burdened the common public. Instead of any relief, Sui Southern Gas Company, the semi-government owned company which oversees gas supply, has further announced 48 hours of load shedding over the weekend. 
Pakistani's gas reserves are depleting fast while the supplies are shrinking. The country mostly meets its energy demands through imported and indigenous resources. Pakistan government has launched an inquiry against police officials to take disciplinary action against those found responsible following a complaint by the Afghan embassy that some Afghans who are living in Pakistan legally faced harassment in which a child also allegedly lost his life. Islamabad began expelling more than a million undocumented foreigners, mostly Afghans, last month amid a row over accusations that Kabul harbors Pakistani militants, a charge Taliban denies. More than 450,000 Afghans have returned home, the United Nations says, many now living in difficult winter conditions near the border. The Yeti Airlines crash in Nepal that killed 72 people almost a year ago was caused by the pilots mistakenly cutting power leading to an aerodynamic stall, the investigation by the government-appointed panel has revealed in its report. Talking to Reuters, a member of investigating panel Deepak Prasad Bastola said, due to lack of awareness and lack of standard operating procedures, the pilots had put the condition levers, which controlled power in the feathering position, instead of selecting the flap lever, which led the engine to run idle and not produce thrust. Nepal's deadliest air crash since 1992, the Yeti Airlines ATR-72 twin-engine aircraft had crashed just before landing in the tourist city of Pokhara on January 15. A Nepali woman who lost her leg at the age of 12 due to cancer has become inspiration for many with her resilience to become an accomplished dancer. Take a look. Growing up in a rural settlement of Nepal's Chitwan district, Sita Subedi felt it was end of her passion for dance when her one leg had to be amputated due to cancer at the age of 12. It brought a whirlwind into her life. She faced abuses, discrimination and disregard by relatives, fellow dancers and even instructors. But she continued her passion. Upon coming to Kathmandu, where she pursued graduation, she enrolled in Kalanidhi Indira Gandhi Mahavidyale to learn Kathak. Subedi in the year 2018 became the gold medalist in the dance subject. Despite growing through lows, her perseverance paid off and she now stands tall as an accomplished Kathak dancer. Her story is reminiscent of Sudha Chandran, who lost a leg in an accident at the age of 16, but went on to become an accomplished Bharatnatyam dancer and Indian actress. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time next week. Have a great weekend. Good night. Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India.